If you clicked on this video hoping to get some inspiration for very minimal light beauty packing, you sure as heck clicked on the wrong video. But in saying that, if you've been watching my videos for a while, then you get me and you already knew that there's no way in heck that I travel lightly when it comes to my beauty products. So hopefully this is something you already expected to see from me and isn't too alarming because we are going to be talking through my beauty travel essentials. Let's dive into it. Let's start off with the skincare products that I always bring with me when traveling. The very first product is of course Apostrophe. There is no way I am going a night without applying this and this portion of the video is in partnership with Apostrophe. You guys already know that this prescription is essential to my skincare routine on any day of the week but especially when I'm on vacation because the whole travel process just makes me a lot more likely to break out. The stress, the flying, the dehydration, getting less sleep, probably having a few cocktails, things like that all combined together make it more likely for me to have a big fat zit on my face. So it's super important that I have my prescription from Apostrophe with me because it contains 0.1% tretinoin, spironolactone, and tranexamic acid. And those three ingredients combined all in one bottle makes this incredible at helping to prevent and manage symptoms of acne. So if you are not familiar with Apostrophe yet, I'll give you a quick rundown while I apply my prescription. Apostrophe is an online platform that connects you to an expert dermatology team and provides access to top like this right here, and or oral prescription medications. And I love that my prescription not only helps me in preventing breakouts, but it also helps with the rest of my skincare goals as well. So when I apply this, I am also helping to prevent fine lines, wrinkles, texture, hyperpigmentation, really any and all signs of aging. So to get started and get access to a personalized treatment plan for skincare concerns like acne, hyperpigmentation, rosacea, or wrinkles, all you have to do is complete a virtual consultation through Apostrophe. And you can use the promo code listed here on the screen to get your initial consultation for only $5 plus an additional $5 off your first order. I typically bring a cleansing balm for makeup removal purposes and my favorite of all time is the Geek and Gorgeous Mighty Melt Cleansing Balm. So there's a very high chance that it will be this one in my suitcase. However, with products like this and moisturizer and things that are not specific to active ingredients that I need to use, like in my my apostrophe prescription or in my serums. Then I may just bring with me something that I really want to empty as long as I still enjoy it. If I don't enjoy it, it's not coming with me on vacation, but if I don't need to empty a product, I'm probably gonna reach for Geek and Gorgeous Mighty Melt. And I always have a stack of microfiber towels with me so that I can use these to remove my makeup with that cleansing balm. I saw that Amazon now has these in a really cute bright purple color and I have had these for years and years. They hold up really well, but now I feel like I wanna by the bright purple. Anyway, not imperative to this video. So microfiber towels always, and I always have to have mesh laundry bags with me to put these kinds of things in them. Cause I don't want this just like free falling all over my suitcase and getting things wet and dirty, but I cannot find the mesh laundry bags right now. So I need to ransack my house after this because I am actually filming this in a timely time is what came into my brain. And that's not right. The timing of this video is Timely. <laughs> this video is being filmed at a very good time because I am indeed leaving for Florida to go on a bachelorette trip. I actually had this video on my list of videos to film for a while, but I was like, I don't want to film it like randomly when I don't have any trips coming up. That's kind of depressing. But now that I have a trip coming up, it was a great time to film this video, which means that I really need to find those mesh laundry bags. So for now, I'll just list them in the description box below and wish me luck on that hunt. I don't want to have to bring two cleansers when I'm traveling, so I will just pack my Cetaphil Gentle Clear Clarifying Acne Cream Cleanser, which is typically something that I only use in the morning when I'm at home because it has 2% salicylic acid in it. When I'm using this at home, I use it like an exfoliant. So I'll use it in the shower, I'll leave it on my skin for several minutes, and then I'll rinse it off to make sure I'm really getting the full benefits of salicylic acid. But I'm not looking to add an additional exfoliating step when I'm traveling. I just don't wanna have to bring two cleansers. So at night when I'm using this, I'll just use it solely for cleansing and then rinse it off right away. I've had zero issues in doing that, no irritation whatsoever, so that works well for me. Because I am prone to getting breakouts while traveling, I always have to bring a hypochlorous acid mist with me. I was previously using one from Amazon. I'll list that below. I think it's a great option. I'm using one from Prequel right now, but I actually was just sent this little mini one from Tower 28 and PR, so I was like, oh, 
perfect for travel. If you are not familiar with this, this is called their SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray, and it has hypochlorous acid in it, just like those other two mists I just mentioned. The main purpose in using this is to kill that acne bacteria that lives on the skin and contributes to breakouts. And this is something that's especially great to have with you on vacation. You could throw it in a purse, you can spray it throughout the day. Let's say that you're out and about doing touristy things, it's hot, you're getting sweaty. This is really easy to just spray on whatever you have on your skin. It's not gonna mess up makeup or anything like that. And then you can help to prevent those breakouts further. I do bring every single serum that I use on a daily basis at home with me while I'm traveling because there's just nothing in here that I feel like I can get rid of. I am so obsessed with all of my serums, they have to come. So the two that I'm using in the morning right now are the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Serum and the Prequel Lucent C Brightening Vitamin C Serum. If you would like to hear more about these products in detail, I will list my most recent morning skincare routine in the description box below. I go into ingredients, my thoughts, you know, why I'm using them, how long I've been using them. So that will be available to you there, but yep, they come. They have to, they have to. Those are the rules, I don't make them up. And then the two serums I bring for nighttime application are the Dermatology Needleless Serum and the Ordinary Multi-Peptides Plus Copper Peptides 1% Serum. I typically don't pack a separate moisturizer for morning use, and instead I will just bring a moisturizing sunscreen. So one that I love that I find to work as both a moisturizer and sunscreen is the Etude Soon Young Director's Moisture Sun Cream. Not only does this work great for me as a moisturizer, I'll show you the consistency actually in case you are curious. I would say it's like a very lightweight cream honestly more of like a lotion consistency, but perfectly moisturizing without being something that disrupts my makeup application or causes my makeup to fade or go patchy throughout the day. That is definitely an issue that I can have with sunscreen. So this is one I have tested so many times as a makeup primer and it never fails me. So another reason why I know I can bring this when I travel. For a nighttime moisturizer, I usually just go for something that's in small packaging like this so that I don't have to bring an entire jar of moisturizer. This is the La Roche-Posay Tolerain Ultra Night Soothing Repair Moisturizer, and it's so, so nice. I'll show you the consistency of this one too. Despite this looking and feeling a bit lighter weight than like a really thick, creamy moisturizer for night, it is incredibly conditioning. This really is just such a nice moisturizer. If you have never tried it and you also want something in skinny packaging like this for travel, I would highly recommend. I feel like it just does the perfect job of creating that occlusive layer, but like also feeling like it's sinking in. You know, it's not one of those that just feels filmy on your skin, like it's just sitting there. Oh. It's good. But there is a time and place for a film and that is nighttime eye cream for me. So I have to bring a smaller size version of the CeraVe healing ointment. I typically just go for my big, huge jar that I have sitting in my drawer at home, but I'm not gonna bring that with me when I travel. So I will bring this. This is what I use at night to slug around my eyes. So since I'm not bringing a separate eye cream while traveling, I'll just layer up that moisturizer around my eyes and then go ahead and apply the ointment. And I know that they do have travel size versions of these as well. They don't have them like in the travel aisle at my Target, but they exist and they're like extra tiny if you don't wanna bring a three ounce one. Another thing that's nice about traveling with that ointment is that for most people, it can double up as a lip balm. But as you guys know, I am psycho about lip products, so that does not cut it for me. It's not occlusive enough. I always have to have a Vaseline lip therapy with me. I will put this on at night. Just, I mean, it can't be beat. But I don't wanna be dunking my finger in a tub like all day long and have that with me while I'm traveling. So I'll bring another lip balm that is in a squeezy tube like this. And I am definitely, most definitely, bringing my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the new vanilla scent. Divine, delicious, perfection, I love it. I always make sure to pack some Mighty Patches when I'm traveling in case I do get a breakout and I need something to speed up that healing process. I don't use any sort of spot treatments because I find that they really irritate my skin. So this is all that I use when I have an active breakout and I couldn't live without them. Let's talk about some skincare for the body next. So for body wash, I love bringing my Sol de Janeiro body wash. The smell is just perfect for vacation. Like if you wanted the most perfect, cozy, tropical scent to put on after a day at the beach, it's this. And I just keep this little mini version to refill with my full-sized version because I used this up a long time ago. For lotion, I also really like to use something that just has an extra special smell. So I am going to be bringing my Oribe Restorative Body Cream. This is in their signature scent that you guys know I'm obsessed with. So I love this option, or I will also often bring my Sol de Janeiro Body Cream. 
for body sunscreen, I'm going to be bringing this new launch from Sunbum. This is their daily body sunscreen moisturizing lotion with broad spectrum SPF 50 and 80 minutes of water resistance. Perfect for a pool day, which we are having a pool day on this trip. I just tried this out for the first time yesterday and my first impression was that I loved it. I'll show you guys here. This is super lightweight and so easy to work with. It just blends and dries down perfectly. It's not greasy. It didn't leave my skin feeling sticky. I was like, oh, have I just found my new favorite body sunscreen? Maybe. Body Glow is an absolute must on vacation. So I am bringing the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm, which is something that I just picked up on Amazon. This stuff is freaking incredible. It's this balmy cream and it doesn't look like much in the jar, but I swear it is. Just put it on top of here. It gives you the most stunning glass like glow. I love putting that like all over my neck and chest and collarbones. And then because I am over the top as always, I also like to use my Dibs Desert. Oh wait, that is the full name of the brand. Okay, they don't have the name of this product on here. I think it's just called their body stick, body glow stick. This is in the shade Good Light Gold. And this is just one of those body sticks that you can roll up like this and you get this amazing, I'll show you on the other hand. Are you kidding? Golden body highlight. So good. And what I love about this is that it is dry touch, so it's not something that's gonna get like all gross and greasy feeling on your body. So this is another thing that I will just swipe all over this region of my body, and I love using this at night. This is also something I need to run around my house to find. I have a mini version of the Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner, which I always have to bring with me. I have shared this in previous videos, but this is my absolute favorite thing to use as an under arm refresh. This is just the most perfect underarm refresh ever. If you have like a long sweaty day, you want to reapply deodorant, but you want to get rid of the sweat and smell first, you got to try it. I just use it with a little reusable towel like this, like a cotton round towel thing. So no, I don't bring this whole jumbo one, but if I can't find the mini, I'm gonna have to run to Target because it's essential. I almost forgot to mention this. So the last skincare item before we move on to makeup is a tinted sunscreen. I'm gonna bring this one from Supergoop. It's the Protect Tint Daily SPF Tint SPF 50. New launch from them. When did I show this to you? My Sephora haul, I think. So I have not had enough time to play around with this to give you my final thoughts, but I'm excited to play around with it on this trip. This is the perfect type of thing to use for pool days where you wanna look like a little bit more put together or just daytime. If you don't really wanna be wearing much makeup, but you want just like, you know, a little bit of color on your face, some skin tone evening action, a tinted sunscreen is perfect, especially if you're somebody like me who does not self tan your face, but does self tan their body. A tinted sunscreen is an absolute must during the day to make sure that my skin does not look a hundred shades lighter than my body. All right, let's move on to makeup. I'm gonna breeze through this relatively quickly because none of these products will be news to you guys. You have heard me talk about them so many times, which is why I have to bring them with me. Primer, Milk Hydro Grip Primer, especially helpful for a hot sweaty vacation because this really does prevent my makeup from breaking up. I am still very much obsessed with mixing the House Labs foundation and the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. The combination of these two products is just stunning on my skin. Enough coverage to even things out and give me some color, but it's not too intense. Beautiful glow that's not overly dewy. It's just like ethereal. Perfect for vacation. The last thing I want on vacation is a concealer that doesn't end up looking good and is creasy or patchy or doesn't give me enough coverage. So I have to bring something that I know is going to look amazing and that is the House Labs Concealer. I will be bringing the Amicole Skin Melt Loose Powder with me. This is perfect because it really does a good job at preventing my skin from looking greasy, but it's not something that looks really dry and powdery on my skin. It just, like it says, like perfectly melts everything together. The only new item I'm bringing with me is bronzer. I just got these bronzers in PR from RMS. I did not know that they were launching bronzer but oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful these are. I have to swatch them for you guys. I am obsessed with their blushes. Those are the blushes that I'm gonna be bringing, so you'll see them in a second, but because of that, I... Oh, beautiful. I felt like I could gamble on bronzer and bring these with me because I just have such a good experience with basically everything that I try from this brand, so... 
they're coming. The RMS blush I was talking about is their Redimension Hydra Powder Blush. I am going to bring two shades actually. This one is Maiden's Blush and this one is French Rosé. Look at how cute and vacation-y these are. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm so excited. So I like to wear these separately and mix together and it's just such a fun vacation cheek. With the Glowier Bronzer and Glowier Blush, I definitely am not going to need a separate cheek highlight, but I still always bring my Dior highlighting palette with me because this is what I use to highlight my brow bone and inner corner of my eye. This is the Backstage Glow highlighting palette in the shade One Universal. For eyes, I'm gonna keep things simple, which I have been doing for the past few months and really loving, so I'm going to bring the new Makeup by Mario Master Mattes the Neutrals palette, so beautiful. And and I will just use this to kind of throw some light browns on my lid, potentially do a winged liner. I have not done winged liner in so long, but I might whip that back out on vacation. And then I'm also gonna bring the Makeup by Mario Master Crystal Reflector in the shade Quartz, because this is such a fun way to just like, I thought I broke it. We're safe. This is such a fun way to just like add a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of something special to an eye look without having it look like you're wearing heavy eyeshadow. For brows, I am bringing my Kosas Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. I have been obsessed with this. It is extra mini, which I love because it just gives me a more natural look and my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. For lashes, I have four products I'll be bringing. The first is my trusty Shiseido Lash Curler. A lash primer, this is the Lancome Sills Booster XL. And then two different mascaras for layering purposes. Maybelline Lash Sensational for length and separation. Benefit Fan Fest for length and volume. And lips, my favorite category. For lip liner, I'm going to be bringing the new Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk Fair. I just picked this up and I am so excited about it. Oh, look at that. And then I do like to have a couple of different options for lip looks. So I will bring two different lip stains and two different glosses. The lip stains I'm bringing are the Peri Para Water Bear Glow Tint in the shade 07 and the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Wonder. I'll show you guys these swatched out next to that lip liner. So this is Peri Para. This is Rare Beauty. Have to bring my Amicole Lip Oil in the shade Reflection because I cannot be without a clear gloss. And I always bring my Lawless Beauty Gloss in the shade Velvet because this is just, oh my God, the most perfect lip gloss of all time. It never lets me down. Oh, so good. So that is perfect if I want to just throw something on to give me both color and gloss. All right, I think that's everything for makeup except for the brushes that I bring. And I'm not gonna sit here and talk through every single detail about these brushes. I'll just like hold it up and say what I use it for. And then of course have details listed below. For foundation and concealer, I will always use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, so that has to come. I use the Sigma F12 Setting Powder Brush for that Amicole powder all over my face. I love using a large fluffy brush like this for bronzer, but the name of this is rubbed off, so again, I'll have it listed below, but I know it's It Cosmetics. My all-time favorite blush brush is also from It Cosmetics. An angled blush brush is the way to go. I have to bring this from MAC. It's the 187S, and I use this for blending, bronzer, blush, just kind of bringing everything together and making sure nothing is harsh. For highlight, I will be bringing this Real Techniques highlighter brush, the 402. And then these are the brushes I'm bringing for eyeshadow. So this is the Sephora Pro Concealer 57 brush. So not even an eyeshadow brush, but I will use this for the light brown shades I put all over my lid. I love how large and fluffy it is, it is perfect for that. To pack a little bit more color on my lid, if I want to, I will use the Angie Hot and Flashy brush with BK Beauty. This is the A506, and I think that this is perfect for that purpose. Another BK Beauty brush that I use is the 211. This one is what I use for my brow bone and inner corner for that Dior highlight. And then the best angled liner brush of all time is the EIG Show Angled Eyeliner E835, an Amazon find that is life-changing for winged liner. The Bausch & Lomb Lumify eye drops are obviously not makeup, but any eye look that you have will look a hundred times better with these eye drops in. They make your eyes look so bright and white 
white and sparkly. I love, love, love these. All right, you guys, let's wrap up this video with the hair care products that I'll be bringing with me. OGX Coconut Oil is coming along both for pre-shampoo purposes and for protective purposes in the pool. That is my number one tip for protecting your hair while swimming on vacation, whether it's in a pool or the ocean, using an oil on your lengths is super helpful. And I do actually have an entire video where I talk about summer slash vacation hair care tips. So I will list that below if you would like to see a bunch more on that topic. If a K18 day falls on vacation, then I will always bring my K18 mask with me. I have no issue bringing this with. It's small, so it travels well, and it's only a four minute process. So it's not like, oh my God, I have to add a whole 30 extra steps to my wash day routine in order to use this just four minutes and I'll probably want to be in the shower that long anyway, just like relaxing, so it works. If I'm planning to swim on vacation, then I always make sure to bring a good clarifying shampoo with me because I want to make sure that I'm getting rid of all of the deposits from the ocean, from the pool, whatever I'm swimming in, off of my hair. And I want to make sure that it's a clarifying shampoo that is actually formulated with ingredients like chelators to help to get rid of that stuff that can cling to our hair. So I'm gonna bring my Way Detox shampoo. I'm not gonna bring the full bottle. I will put some of this into a little travel size shampoo bottle gotta find those two. I have a travel size Oribe Gold Lust transformative mask that I am going to bring with me to use as my mask slash conditioner all in one. Whenever I end up with a travel size bottle like this, I'll usually always bring that with me. And then when I use it up, I'll just save the bottle to put one of my favorite conditioners or masks in it. So this works out because this is one of them. But if I didn't have this, then I would put something like Pureology Strength Cure or Amica the Cure or a L'Oreal conditioner in here. For leave-ins, I do bring my Living Proof triple bond complex with me. Again, nice and small, so it travels well. That is the first thing that I put in my hair after getting out of the shower. I have a little mini bottle of Pureology Color Fanatic, and I just will always refill this with Pureology Color Fanatic only for travel, because I am not messing around. I need to know that I have my holy grail with me in case I end up in a situation where my hair is extra tangly. Not risking it. I definitely want to bring a styling hold product with me because I'm going to be going to Florida, so it's going to be hot and humid, and my hair is going to go crazy. I need some help, so I'm gonna bring the r Co Grasp Intense Hold Shaping Balm. I would love to have a little mini version of this, but it'll do. It's not too big. I also have a little mini Oribe Gold Lust Hair Oil, which is perfect because it's one of my favorites as well, and I just love this for post-styling, just as like a finisher, add some extra gloss, help to smooth any flyaways. It's perfect for that. Also need to find the mini version I have of this. It's the Dove Advanced Dry Shampoo for Volume and Fullness. This is what I brought with me on my last trip, and it worked great, so I definitely want to bring it again. Just gotta find the small bottle. We're almost done, just a couple of hair accessories and tools left, and perfume. I always bring my Dyson Airwrap when I travel because of how handy it is. It's sleek, it's lightweight, and I can just bring a couple different attachments for styling. So I bring the drying attachment and the longer, skinnier barrel. A good brush that I know can detangle my hair well if I end up needing it. Bringing Oh, okay. Bringing my Oribe flat brush that I now need to use. I have a couple different hair ties that I like to bring with me depending on what we are doing on a trip. These extra long hair elastics if we plan to do any sort of workout. I don't actually think that'll be happening during this trip. So maybe I don't need to bring these, but then for sure some hosiery elastics. Sorry if that was loud. Smacked my hand on the table. I bring a couple different jaw clips. I like to have a small one like this and then my favorite right now, which is this longer skinnier one. Both Amazon finds. And I'll also bring a bunch of my mini jaw clips to pin my hair up after I curl it while I am putting makeup on. That definitely helps to make my curls just bouncier and fuller and last longer too. And I am going to be bringing two of my mini fragrances. The first is Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. Obsessed, delicious. And I have Fleur Tangerine Boy in a mini size, which is perfect for this trip. It's really fruity and summery. And I love mixing this with something vanilla. Oh my goodness. Um, We have made it to the end of this video. Those are all of my beauty essentials that I travel with. And it feels kind of ridiculous saying essentials, but like these are the things that make me happy. So they're essential to me. And this is by far what takes up the majority of my suitcase. Cause again, it's just what makes me happy. So I need to go ahead and and start putting all this away, start packing for this trip. I am super excited to get the heck out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you did enjoy it and would like to see more from me, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for your support in doing those things. It truly means the world. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days. Thank you.